Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So what I'm doing now is showing you Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on the Xbox One X. And I've gotta say, this game looks absolutely insane and sick. And so just continuing on with my series, showing you image quality on the Sony X900E, I wanted to go ahead and do this for you guys because again, there's a massive misconception that the Sony X900E just can't hold a candle to something like an OLED or even the highest end full array local dimming TVs and that's just not the case. I know it's due in part to a lot of the guys on RTings and HDTV tests telling you it's a mid-range TV and normally when you hear mid-range you go oh well it's kind of shitty it's not the best but it's all right it's kind of middle of the way but I gotta let you guys know something man no matter what anybody says the best thing for you guys to do is to go out and experience the product for yourself because I guarantee you once you do that then you're gonna really start to experience things the way it was supposed to be experienced you know like don't don't ever let anybody trick you and, th and I think that's like one of the big things in the space there are a lot of people lining up to trick you especially like uh, damage control product specialists you know people who calibrate TVs for a living they're all gonna try to tell you that what I tell you is harmful and wrong because it's their way of life it's their living and they want you to use them for the quote-unquote accuracy reference point so again for everybody who's previously watched my videos, you'll see nasty comments about how oversaturated my picture quality is because I'm using 73 color. Well, I'll have you know that this image is running right now, 73 color, Xbox One X, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on the Sony X900E, and skin tones are natural, gorgeous, and everything works beautifully. Take a look at this. He's not glowing, he doesn't look radioactive, but you'll see a lot of people lying about my settings. Now that I've figured out better how to represent this to you guys and show you real world what my settings look like, you can definitely appreciate 73 color uh, not being the way that everybody else is saying. And it's really hard to defend that like when you're when you don't really have a dynamic camera and you can't really explain it, but you know, I've been doing a lot of work over the last week here just really trying to figure out how to show better show off the Sony X900E and a closer to real life representation. Now again, it's still a secondhand experience and it will look way, way better in person, but I think we can safely assume from what you're seeing right here that this is pretty damn on point and anybody who's telling you the Sony X900E can't hold its own is pretty full of it. I mean, picture quality wise, you really don't really have to go much better than the Sony X900E. Of course you can, you can, I mean, the 940E is definitely better than the Sony X900E picture quality wise, um, but if you're not willing to spend that kind of money, there is no need to do that. And check this out, I mean, look at how gorgeous this is on the X. I mean, things are just working just so well and look really, really, really good. And so now I guess we're gonna follow Dude Man and we're just gonna see what happens. Hopefully I don't die. Oh, you're trying to shoot me. Oh, I'm not very good at shooters, by the way, in case any of you guys are like pro expert shooters out there. I am not a pro at all in any way, shape, or form. I am just a guy that, ah, uh, uh, he came out and everything. I'm just a guy that plays games. I, I, I'm not like a professional level gamer, so please don't expect that from me. My goal here is to just show you guys that gaming on the X is not only fluid, but it's a lot of fun, and it looks really, really great. And this game does benefit a lot from, uh, you know, visual fidelity increase a little bit. Like, uh, in certain areas, it looks way better. Like, it'd be hard-pressed to think that it's, like, not patched, you know? Uh, you would think that it's patched, definitely. Um, I, I really hope I don't die here. I'm not very good at this, as I ever mentioned. I know I should be getting to cover, but I'm just guns blazing, you know? probably the dumbest thing I could possibly do right now so I am actually gonna run away and see running gets you killed so rule more moral of the story here never run in the middle of a fight <laughs> no but uh, seriously guys on a serious note no it looks really good I'm gonna try to go a little off the beaten path here just kind of show you a little bit more of the picture quality I mean look at that fire look at how real that shit looks I really hope that comes through on YouTube because it looks phenomenal here on my end and then like this shrub here is just like really 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 detailed um, little things like that like I know it sounds stupid when people are talking to you about the Xbox One X and they're like, oh, these plants look amazing. Oh, these uh, water droplets look fantastic. And then you hear it and you're like, well, that's some stupid shit. I don't care about any of that. I mean, how does the game look overall? I mean, overall, I've never had a problem with any of my games, so I'm not going to have a problem now. You know, and it's one of those things where it's just like, honestly, guys, 
it looks really, really good, guys. It really does. Like, all those things together, when you put them together, do create a full-fledged experience. And I think that's the big thing here. So, definitely wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that. Uh, I have a lot of fun playing this, this console with the Sony X900E. And so... I want to give that to you guys. I want to give you that experience. I want to help you guys better find those experiences, you know? So you're not like at the mercy of people who want to tell you otherwise or really don't have your best interest at heart. Because again, like I've mentioned in my other video, I'm not sponsored, guys. I don't have to adhere to certain positive comments all the time. I can literally say whatever I want. So I'm like the worst kind of person for a lot of people because I just, I don't have like anybody telling me what I can and cannot do. I haven't figured out how to kill these things yet, so don't, don't give me a hard time or too hard of a time because I'm not very good at shooters. I've mentioned this, but again, point of the video showing you image quality and you guys see though, it's like really nice and yeah, so don't believe the myths that you need to go OLED or go home because it's just not true at all. Um, in fact, you shouldn't be gaming on an OLED period. Now, if you're watching movies on an OLED, that's great. But if you're an, a gamer, a hardcore gamer, you've got pretty much no business going OLED. Uh, image retention is just too much of a threat, especially on maps and things like that. Th those things burn in really, really quickly. And uh, there are a lot of videos of people that will try to tell you, hey, you know, you've got to uh, enable your screen savers and make sure you're turning this on immediately but if you've got to enable your screensaver every time basically you're not using your uh, your Xbox as come on dude that's or that, that nobody wants to have to baby their TV and that was one of the reasons why I stopped recommending the Sony X900e until I figured out how to really reverse the bricking issue that I was having in that whole situation but that being said for those wondering if I recommend the Sony X900e I do have a video on that topic so feel free to check it out but again the Xbox One X running on the Sony X900e, that, that's one hell of a combination. I mean, look at this guy's face, like, right now. Like, are you seeing this? Like, this guy's face looks so serious. Like, I mean, these explosions and, like, it really makes you feel like you legit just fell out of an air carrier, you know? And, like, you're, like, being blown back and shit, you know? Like, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this door, like, just flew at me right now. Like, I feel like my arm is literally severed right now and, like... I'm just in the middle of the war zone, like, fucking fading out, like, and that's the level of immersion the Xbox One X can give you on the Sony X900E with these deep blacks, these popping colors, I mean, look at this shit, pulls this shit out of my arm socket, and he's gonna start dragging me off the battlefield, and you'll see, like, how immersive it feels, like, it feels really good. Now, if you guys are seeing this orange light off to the side, this is just, I have a lamp on in the back here, because I don't really feel like having a dark room right now, but... As a whole, guys, it feels really amazing. The experience is great. I mean, look at that. Oh, that is a bad day if I've ever seen one. Oh, man, bad day at the office for real. Um, but hey, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to it. It's awesome quality. Let me know what games you guys want to see next. I'm going to continue the series. Um, some games that I'm looking at right now that are on my shelf for the Xbox One X as I sit here, um, Titanfall 2... Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Forza 7, Forza Horizon 2, uh, Forza Horizon 3, Halo Master Chief Collection, WWE 2K18, 17, uh, I've got uh, basically all the Forza, so any Forza you want to see, um, Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront 1, UFC 2, uh, Rise, Son of Rome, just let me know, like, if you if you have a game that you have at the top of your mind, just let me know, and I'll try to get this uh, gameplay footage out to you on the Sony X900E, to show you what it looks like, and talk a little bit more about what you can expect when you do dive in and make the investment yourself. As always, my name is Quantum Apotheosis, and I bring you the Apotheosis of Information. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel and giving me your time and attention. I really appreciate that. I really do. You guys are fantastic and it means the world to me. Love you guys, man. Keep doing what you're doing. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.